Hi everyone, this is attorney Lillian and I am here today with your Tuesday tip. System. So today I will be talking to you about the red flags, okay? The red flags that you need to avoid when you're filing a marriage-based case. And I will take you through a few red flags that I have seen in practice, USCIS has really flagged, and things that they are looking at when you go ahead and file a marriage-based case. So now, the next red flag, this should be obvious, but um, the next red flag is having children outside of your marriage. Right. You got married in 2016, you had a child in 2017, and that child is not with your spouse. Right? USCIS, of course, again, stereotypical marriages, your child would be with your spouse, not with someone else, a third party outside of your marriage. So just keep that in mind stereotypical marriages is what we're talking about here. Um, USCIS has a hard time with non, um, non confirming marriages. Um, understanding that times have changed. People may have different agreements within their marriage, but that doesn't diminish the marriage. However, they're still looking at it through a lens of a stereotypical heterosexual marriage. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. So think of a stereotypical heterosexual marriage, and that's what they're um, basing their um, a lot of their a lot of the policies and questions and all those things are going to be based on that. So just be prepared to respond to the reason why you had a child outside of your marriage. Again, there could be reasons for it. I have had um, a client that we were able to overcome this and they were still able to get their green card through their marriage. But, 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 but it was a fight, right? It was a fight with USCIS to try to explain um, how that all came about, how the wife felt about it, how that led to issues in the marriage. And we were able to explain it in a way that the officer was, um, that it made sense to the officer. Um, and we backed it up with documentation, made sense to the officer, officer still went ahead and approved the case. So just know, not, you know, not all, um, not in all instances, this will be like detrimental to your case, but it will, it will be a red flag in your case. So typically you would list your children on your application if you have children. So say like this person's relatives and you'll list all of them. And then when your spouse gets to the interview and they're like, oh, do you have any children? And your spouse says, no, I don't but my husband does or my wife does or you know all those things like the office is going to make a note of it and they're going to grill you grill your husband you know your spouse grill you on how did this even come about right how are you going to convince the officer that your marriage is real if you are having children outside of your marriage especially if you didn't just have one oops um it was a multiple so just keep that in mind as you're going through um your process that this is a big red flag to the officer okay so that is your tip for today if you have any questions go ahead and put them in the comments and if you like this video go ahead and share it if you know someone who needs to hear this, um, go ahead and share the video with them. If you like what I'm talking about, like the video. And if you're watching in a place that you can subscribe and you do not want to miss any of my uploads, go ahead and hit the sub subscribe button. And I am Lillian Chukura. I am the lawyer and owner of Lily Legal, where we help our clients get status for themselves and for their family using the US immigration law system. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.